Hello friends, uh, through this video I am going to explain what is called by reference. So to explain this concept, we are going to see a program how to interchange two values. So first we are going to discuss about uh, how, what is the logic behind interchanging these two values. So here I have a equal 2 and b equal 4. Now b should get the value of a we can say that b equal a so now we can say that b is getting the value 2 and a should get the value of b this is our a b should get the value a and a should get the value b so but here when you see that b is getting the value of a that is 2 but a is not getting the first value of b initially b had 4 but when you say that b equal a, b is losing that value. So before doing this assignment, what it is, we have to preserve the actual data of b. So I am going to use an another variable called t equal b. So now b's value is preserved. Then you are saying that b is getting the new value from a and now a should get the initial value of b. The initial value of b is available in t. So I can put like this. So this is the logic we are going to see in this interchanging two values for the concept called by reference. Now let us go to our editor. So here I am going to declare those variables. a equal, here we have a equal to int b equal 4. Now we are going to call uh, user defined function to do the necessary interchange. For that I am going to create a function whose return type is void and I am naming it as interchange like this now when i'm going to call this function interchange i'm going to pass these values also a comma b now since i'm passing two data here it should be received in two variables let it be data one and data two now the data type of a is integer so the first argument type it should be of int the second argument also it should be of type int because b is of integer now i am going to put this logic int t equal first data or second data anything i can put it int t equal data 2 and now i am going to say that data 2 equal data 1 so data 2 is getting the value value of data 1 and data 1 should get the value of initial value of data 2 which is preserved in this variable t if we want we can say that we can make it more meaningful by saying temporary variable okay so now the data is interchanged so after this we are going to say whether it is reflected in the main method whether a is getting 4 and b is getting 2 so here we are doing the interchange so let us check that c out so a is a then until b is b enter so we are going to check what is the outcome so here we can see that here again when we are checking in the main method here it is not reflected so here what's happening we are just passing the value to data 1 a value of a to data 1 and value of b to data 2 and whatever you do here this will not be reflected in the main method but still if you want to reflect 
in your main method we can go for the concept called by reference so a slight modification we have to do this data one should be prefixed by an and symbol which is called ampersand and data two should be prefixed by the ampersand symbol data one and data two now data one becomes a reference variable for this a and data two becomes a reference variable for b it means data one is an another name for a like alias like that data 2 is an another name for b it means data 1 is also pointing to a data 2 is also pointing to b that is the meaning of that now let me run the code once again we can see that now a is getting 4 and b is getting 2 so here you can see that whatever modification you are doing in data 1 and data 2 it is reflected in a and b because data 1 is an another name for a so when you are saying some new data assigning to data 1 it is reflected in a like that for data 2 reflecting in b thank you for watching this